clean mirrors are common home commodity we use plain mirrors in the morning to shave to comb our hair to dress ourselves to put the tie in its place and so on we see our image in the plain mirror or if we put an object in front of it we see the image of that object now how does that image form the image forms when light starting from the object falls on the mirror and reflects back and that reflected back light that comes to our eyes and we see the image now generally there is one mirror and then each object has its one unique image but what hap what will happen if we put more than one mirrors say two mirrors so if there is one mirror there is one image if there are two mirrors how many images will be there if it is a mathematics problem this answer would be two but let us see actually how many images form so here i have these two plain mirrors and we have put it in frames and they these two mirrors are put on a table and there is some uh, and and candle is there and you can see the images so how many images are you seeing there are two images so two mirrors two images that looks very fine but what happens if i change the angle between these two plane mirrors you can see that uh, black joint in between the two mirrors and i can change the angle just by tilting it from there so now i am reducing the angle and as i reduce the angle you just watch the number of images what happens and here you see i am reducing the angle and here you see that instead of two images you have three images now one candle is on the table the front one and then you can see three images there are still two mirrors these two mirrors are now almost at 90 degrees of angle and then you can see that there are three images so from the same two mirrors you can form two images or you can form three images what will happen if i further reduce the angle between these two mirrors will the number of images increase let's see and yes you can see now the angle is uh, less than 90 degrees i have reduced it and you can very clearly see four different images one candle real candle on the table and then four images in the same two mirrors for the reduce the angle and now count how many of them are there now there are six uh, images of that one candle so the number of images depends on the angle between the two mirrors when the angle is less the number of images is more so what happens why you have more images why the number of images depends on uh, the angle images form when light falls on the mirror and reflects now the reflected light if that falls on the second mirror then second mi mirror it appears to the second mirror as if the light is coming from the image that was formed in the first mirror and so the second mirror accordingly makes an image now the light that is reflected from the second mirror if that falls again on the first mirror then for first mirror it's a is a different light and it forms a different image so as many times light is reflected back and forth between the two in two mirrors that will decide the number of images when the angle is nearly say 180 degrees or 150 degrees or 160 degrees chances are that after one reflection light will go to the other mirror and then it will go away it will not come back to the first mirror 
But if the angle is small, then you can have multiple reflections back and forth and you can have multiple images. So the number of images will depend on the angle. Less the angle, more will be the number of images.